Now, if you accidentally knock out a grown-up tooth, the dentist will first take care of the roots and then clean the gap in your gums to get rid of any damaged tissue. After that, they'll pop the tooth back into place and line it up with the rest of your teeth. To keep it from moving, they'll attach a tiny splint to the nearby teeth. Over time, your gums and tissues will reconnect with the roots, and bone will grow around the tooth to hold it steady. Look closely. This is the triangle on your face where you should never, ever pop pimples. The veins here connect closely to the brain, hence the risk. Don't squeeze spots located above your eyes either. Once you pop it, it opens a gateway to harmful bacteria, and some of them can even cause blindness. To play it safe, use hydrocolloid patches or acne treatments like benzoyl peroxide. If it gets serious, go to a dermatologist to get a steroid injection. If a sperm whale swallowed you, you would be pulled down into its huge throat and then travel into its four stomach chambers. Inside, you'd be surrounded by powerful digestive acids that would immediately start breaking your body down. Even if you somehow managed to escape the acid's destructive effects, the lack of air in the whale's stomach would quickly cause you to suffocate. That's why it'd be crucial to act quickly to avoid these consequences. Okay, this is gross, but bear with me. Skin oils, dead skin, hair, dirt, all this accumulates in your belly button. And the result is a navel stone, a hard, smelly lump. It looks dark and feels firm, like a large blackhead in the navel opening. Some navel stones stick out and are easy to spot. Others hide deep inside. Navel stones are often harmless, but they can irritate the skin and lead to infection. Doctors can remove them by softening them or using special tools. After an accident or due to a health condition, a person might have to undergo eye removal surgery. Afterward, the eye socket is likely to have red-colored tissue, which turns pink while healing. After the eye removal surgery, the patient is provided with a temporary plastic conformer to place in the eye socket. During the first few days, the eyelid can look red, swollen, or bruised. After the recovery, the patient might get a prosthetic eye. 